You're listening to the Play Space Podcast with Dr. Gregory Bell and Mark Clark. Welcome to the Play Space Podcast. Good night. What you're hearing is Mary J. Blige. And why am I playing Mary? Well, sad news, Doc. Actually, producer Mark, Mor- Mark Morales, a.k.a. Um, Prince Mark E.D. from the Fat Boys, has passed away at just 52. A lot of people don't realize that he actually, you know, he made his name as one of the members of the Fat Boys, but he became a, a really just an amazing producer. And it's, you know, some of his... His, uh, you know, albums he worked on include Mary J. Blige, Destiny's Child, and many, many others. So, again, um, Prince Marky D from the Fat Boys, gone at 52. Sadly, Doc, it seems like every week when we start the show, we, we've lost people. And I don't know, Doc, if it's the combination of COVID or whatever we're going through. It just seems like it seems more heightened, doesn't it? When we almost every week is somebody who is a celebrity who we lose. Absolutely, Mark. Uh, let me say that it's about celebration of life and the contributions that were made. And so we're going to look at the celebratory part of this and the contribution. And we know that people come and people go, but life is a process. And at the end of that process, the contributions that he has made to our society is absolutely amazing. Definitely. And now people are looking at the show and they're saying, hey, Doc, hey, Mark, what's that lovely lady doing with Mark? Who is that? Is it who is that? Is it who I think it is? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my wife, Allison Seymour, has joined the Play Space. Oh, I got you coming. Hey. <laughs> Allison is in Play Space, Doc. Hey, Play Space Allison. Play. So, Doc, there it is. There she is. <laughs> I'm going to say, Doc, I'm going to give you credit, Doc, because you're like, hey, man, I want to talk about uh, I want to talk about Hampton. I want to talk about Dr. Harvey stepping down. So when you say Hampton and when you say Dr. Harvey in our household, you better say Allison Seymour next. <laughs> Absolutely. That is that's her up. school. That's her school. That's right. I know that's right. So, I know so, that's right. So, Allison, you said you wanted to chime in because Dr. Harvey has he meant a lot for you. So here's how much we Hamptonians love Dr. Harvey. Yes. Everybody who comes in the classes, when I was there, I came in in 84, uh, when I left in 88, every class claimed that Dr. Harvey came when they came in. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to be associated with it. Uh, it's not till like I graduated that I realized that Dr. Harvey started in the 70s. And <laughs> he, you know, is now announced that he is stepping down. I had the honor to talk to Dr. Harvey on Thursday um, for an upcoming interview we're doing on WUSA 9 because so many Hamptonians are in the DMV. Right. I know I know we're wo- worldwide right now. Now, but where, uh, where we are based in the DMV, so many people love Dr. William R. Harvey, and he's stepping down after almost 44 years. He announced he's stepping down next year. And so, Dr. Bell, I know, uh, you know, Hampton means a lot to you. HBCUs mean a lot to you. Now, don't get into no skirmish. I know, Doc, you're <laughs> you're Howard and Ain't Allison no Hampton. Ain't no no skirmish. skirmishes, Doc. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Dr. Harvey? Well, first of all, love to Allison. Thank you for that HBCU representation. The HU, you know, uh, we always have that discussion about the real HU. And today, Hampton University. What about serving in one location for over 44 years? Incredible. Think about that. That is really about service to the Black community, predominantly Black institution, While they deal with diversity, the predominant message is academic excellence. When you think about being able to go and have the experience at Hampton University, my story at Hampton University is that in 1984, when I finished my PhD at Ohio State in early and middle childhood education, I actually interviewed at Hampton University as a potential assistant professor. Living that experience and being on the yard, what a beautiful body of work academic excellence, social interactions, the whole physicalness of being on campus and what beautiful water right there on campus. Mm -hmm. I mean, the experience itself was emotional. Although the choice, I had multiple choices to make 
And at that time for my family, the decision was not Hampton, but what about a leader? A leader who was a facilitator, really someone who could nurture, who could build and collaborate. And more importantly, to uh, produce alumni like Allison Seymour. Look at her contribution. It really serves in terms of the community service. And so the truth in service in Hampton University speaks well. And certainly Allison represents that as an alumni. Well, you know, we have a famous line in our alma mater that is near and dear to all Hamptonians. And we should also <laughs> say our oldest daughter is a sophomore right now at yeah. Hampton. Yeah. So the tradition, it does continue. Um, <laughs> but in our alma mater, um, the line that we love is basically, oh, Hampton, we never could sing you a song um, unless our lives did the singing. And so Hamptonians take it very seriously. When when you leave, you have to pay it forward to society with everything Hampton gave you mm. during those four years. And I just learned, and, and I'm get out of here but i just learned uh as as a student at hampton that not far from there i'm talking about a stone's throw i'm talking about uh less it's got to be less than a mile from there is the original landing of the original africans who were brought to the united states of america in 1619 so the area just celebrated 400 years of the first africans arriving in, at uh what was fort monroe back um you know in in the iteration when i was there in school. But I often think about if those Africans could look across the bridge and see Hampton, now university, man, I mean, um, Mm. not that they're not that what they went through, not that it was at all worth it. But to see that I'm sure and I'm hopeful that they would be proud of uh, of the area and what Hampton means to the United States and the world really. So I can't say enough great things about Hampton. Well, that is the Allison Seymour. (laughs) That is my wife. And uh, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud to be a Hampton dad. And I have a husband. That's right. Congratulations to both of you.